Peach fact. The President of the United States of America had a hit in 1996, 1997 maybe, with Peaches, which was a banger. Definitely look it up if you don't know it. Maple glazed peaches are a thing of beauty, okay? We've got some lovely maple syrup, we're gonna make an amazing glaze, we're gonna to toast some almonds, we're gonna use a little bit of orange zest, a little bit of mascarpone, and we're gonna end up with the most decadent dessert ever, okay? So we're gonna start with some toasted almonds. So we've got some flaked almonds here. We're gonna put those into a cold pan, and we're just gonna to toast them on a low flame in rock box. Equally, you can do these as rock box is coming up to temperature. So once they've been toasted, we're just gonna set those to one side and save those for the end of the recipe, okay? In the meantime, we're gonna make our maple glaze, all right? So really simple, three ingredients, super easy. We've got some softened, unsalted butter here. We've got some brown sugar, soft brown sugar, and we've got some maple syrup. Now, maple syrup, if you can get proper Canadian maple syrup, do it, you get what you pay for. Pour that straight in there. Right, so once we've got our sugar, softened butter, and maple syrup in a bowl, we're literally just gonna smush it together. Okay, once that's all been mixed together, just set that to one side as well. So the maple butter and the toasted almonds, you can kind of make en masse beforehand if you want. You can have those just sat in the fridge or sat on the side in the case of the almonds, just ready to rock and roll whenever you want to do this dish. As soon as summer comes around and the peaches are in season, you'll want to make it, I assure you. So onto the peaches. These are lovely peaches. Um, these aren't very ripe, deliberately so. If we get peaches that are too ripe, what we're going to find is they're going to burn far too easily. Because as fruit ripens, it develops more sugar, and that's what's going to burn. We've got sugar here, so we don't need it in the peach, okay? So nice, firm peaches. And to prep those, we're just going to cut them in half, split them in half, so you end up with that, okay? So your stone will get stuck in one side. And don't use the knife for this, you can just use a teaspoon. And you can just dig this fella out, okay? So just into the side. If it's getting really stuck, you can do this with a knife, a little paring knife if you want to. But if you can do it with a spoon, you'll probably end up with all your fingers still intact, which is a good thing. So I've done peaches this way for years, really, always on the barbecue, which is wicked, which is great, but you really need that ripeness to be bang on. Because it's such a fierce heat on the grill, you quite often find that the peach will go mushy before it's actually cooked all the way through. Whereas in here, because it's the dry heat and the rolling flame, we're going to find they're just, just right, just on the right side of kind of bitey, not too mushy, not too firm. They're just going to be perfect. It's super easy. So while the pan's getting warm, we're just going to rub our peaches with a little sunflower oil, okay? You don't want to be using olive oil here or anything like that. You want a really neutral oil. So we've got our pan nice and hot for this as well. So we really want these to char on the outside, really caramelise from the natural sugars in the peach and the sugar that we're going to add to it as well, okay? So nice hot pan over to your bench and then you're just going to pop the peaches in. So they've got them flesh side down. And I'm just pressing down a little bit just to encourage them to start cooking. Hopefully it helps stop them sticking as well. And what I love about this recipe is it's just so easy to scale up, you know? You can make a mass of this butter and then, you know, if you've got 10 people round or you've only got two round, it doesn't matter. The peaches will get eaten at some point, won't they? And then we're going to go straight back into Rockbox for about five minutes. So we've got a Rockbox here that is fully saturated, up to temperature, 500 degrees, rolling flame, and we expect to cook these for about five minutes, but that's going to vary depending on how ripe your peaches are, OK? So do feel them, do use touch, do use your eyes, and don't be scared just to take them out a bit earlier and check them if you need to. So as always, when we're in Rockbox, we're just going to want to turn the peaches round so our ones that are at the back of the oven that are getting the fierce flame then come to the front. So I love peaches. Peaches are one of my favourite fruits in the whole world. They're super versatile as well. It's also one of my top three favourite emojis, the peach. Looks a bit like a bum. So these are starting to soften now. I can tell from touch now that these have started to feel like ripened peaches. Starting to soften, so now's a good time to turn them over, okay? And you can see even these unripe peaches have really started to darken here as those natural sugars have started to caramelise. And again, when you flip them over, feel the inside of the peach. Just have a little feel, see if he's softening nicely, which he is, which is great. So now we're going to get the butter involved, okay? So we've got our maple butter. I'm going to put kind of a teaspoon or so on each. I mean, you can put more on, you can put less on. For me, you can't have too much buttery, mapley sugar. Right, so these are going back in, still on high flame, and we're just going to let these caramelise up now. Okay, so that's just been a couple of minutes in there. As we bring these over now, we've got all that lovely butter at the bottom. It smells really good, it smells really, really good. 
Okay, so we just leave them in the pan while we start getting them ready. Okay, so the peaches are out, they are smelling incredible, and it's almost time to eat them, so let's get on with that. So just be careful as you're lifting them out nice and gently. Where the butter's already started to solidify on top as well, it gets a really nice sheen, really shiny. They smell delicious. Beautiful mapley butter. Don't waste this, never waste this. I'm just gonna spoon this over the top. Okay, then we're gonna grab ourselves some mascarpone. And we're just gonna pop this little blob. And you know, you don't want it to be posh, you want it to be quite rough and ready, really. This is something you should be having after you've had a big pizza party or a barbecue. That's why it's good to keep the butter in the fridge, keep the almonds on hand. You know what I mean? All you've got to do is pop to the shop, get some peaches, get some mascarpone, and you're good to go. Okay, no, final little touches then. We're just gonna grate over some orange zest. Just a couple of little bits of mint. And all these smells are so nice, so fragrant. The grilled peaches smell amazing. The kind of caramelized butter and maple smells amazing. Just senses on overload. A few of your toasted almonds over the top as well. There you go. Maple glazed peaches. Ideally, you want to be eating these with a knife and fork because they're obviously hot. Luckily, I'm experienced at burning my fingers and I'm going to take one for the team and just get involved. Look at them, look how pretty it is. I don't even want to talk about it. Too good. Mm -hmm. Such an ugly eater.